About a year ago, I did a teardown of this resistance antenna bridge. If you don't know what one of those is, it's a little instrument you put between your antenna coupler and your transceiver to help you adjust the antenna coupler. A bit like a poor man's VSWR meter. The bridge doesn't give you a direct reading of VSWR. But what it does is good enough. It gives you a null on the meter, with the needle at zero, when you're tuned up correctly with the antenna coupler. But it does have some advantages. For instance, you don't radiate much of a carrier when you're making adjustments, and you're not subjecting the transceiver to a wide range of impedances, which in some cases could damage it. More about all that is in the earlier video. I'll include a link below. What I want to talk about today is putting a piezo transducer, and note it's only a transducer, not a buzzer, in parallel with the meter movement. That's got a few advantages, and you might want to do that with your instrument. The first is that you are able to monitor an AM signal and hear what it sounds like. It's somewhat crude, but it does work. Another possibility, and I haven't actually tried this, is you could try removing the meter movement and having only the transducer. As you can see from the box, the meter is the bulkiest item in it, and also meter movements are getting expensive and rare, whereas you may already have a spare transducer you could use. I'm not going to show you a circuit diagram because it's simple. All you do is you wire the transducer in parallel with the meter movement. Instead of adjusting the antenna coupler until you see zero on the meter, in this case, what you do is you go to SSB, talk into the microphone, and adjust the antenna coupler until you're hearing nothing from the transducer. If you're hearing quite a lot, then your antenna coupler is probably out of tune. The volume level from the transducer is fairly low, so you do need to hold it up to your ear which is why I've got it on this lead. The capacitor you see is a remnant from when I used the transducer in a crystal set, and it worked quite well there as well. You might as well leave it on, because it might stop a bit of stray RF floating around. If you don't want the transducer wired in permanently, what you could do is just put a 3.5mm socket on the front panel, wired in parallel with the meter. It doesn't matter then if you've got the transducer plugged in or plugged out, the meter will still function. I tried the modified resistive bridge with the FT817. I could hear sound from the transducer when I was off tune, even at half a watt, though it was louder at 2.5 and, and 5 watts. What about trying low impedance headphones? I got some sound out of them, but not as much as the transducer. So for this project, I'd give them a miss. Another possibility is to replace the transducer with a voltage-controlled oscillator, such as this one with a triple five. The main drawback is you will need a power supply to run it. This one is from a Forrest Mims book. For more about antennas, check out my new blog, dailyantenna.blogspot.com. One item on antennas every day. That's dailyantenna.blogspot.com.